Oh man, this race is going to be cursed. <laughs> Today we are back in iRacing, specifically a series called the IMSA Fixed Series, which is, if you don't know, a series where every car has a fixed setup it has to run on to try and keep it fair and just about driver skill. The brakes, on the left, you're about to hit that car, the brakes, hit the brakes! <laughs> And this series is multi-class. There are three different classes, GTP, LMP2, and GT3. All very fast cars in their own right, but when you put them together on a circuit and mix them all up, it becomes a little bit of a faster cluck. So it's time to introduce you to my personal vessel for that. This is the Cadillac V Series R. Extremely fast and not at all suited for this circuit. So what circuit would you go racing on? What would be ideal? for this chaos that's about to happen. <laughs> Today we're on the Nürburgring, the full circuit, the GP circuit, and that little bit of tarmac known as the Northern Loop. I foresee pain and suffering in my near future, so uh, let's go qualify. Okay, I never qualify for anything, so this would probably go fine. Everything's nice and cold too. I like a nice cold car going into my qualifying lap, you know. Do I have enough fuel for the, uh, for the lap? Guess we'll find out. Don't crash, Jimmy. Oh my god. This car is Larry. It's almost like driving a GEP round here is a bad idea or something. Hi, Rebel Tree. This is nuts. I've lost time in a few places so far, so it's not a perfect lap. But to be honest, a perfect lap in this feels like you could chase that for a while, you know? The car moves around so almost randomly in some of these bumps that unless you go around the circuit and I guess find them all, you're never going to get it right. Oh, that was fast. It struggles through these medium speed corners a bit. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Should be flat all the way through here now. Come on, Caddy. Whoop. Seven twenty-three. We actually qualified. We never qualify, and according to this, we're currently P1. We might actually have a good chance in this race. Who knows? Oh, well, actually, I lied. Um. We ended up in fourth position, which is still okay. Qualifying fourth in this. It means hopefully we'll stay out of the mess that is the start of this race. I assume it's going to be the start of the race anyway. So the plan is to try and get into a moment with space, and then we'll just go from there. That basically means I need to kind of do well or I'm going to lose eye rank. But anyway, so you can see from qualifying there, of the people who qualified, I was the slowest. Good. Right, it's going to be chaos, isn't it? Oh, all right. It's that kind of race. So, five laps coming up here in an old slifer. IMSA fix. Can we avoid the aliens? <laughs> Who knows? Leader got a good jump there. It goes around. We did not see it coming. It's down at T1 then. You can see a little bit late when the brakes run into the back of the car in front. The Acura on the outside comes in, stops you from turning somewhat. We then get out of the corner. Okay, but then contact between the two cars ahead. Sends the 18 round. Lost a place at the start there. Oh, there he goes. And unfortunately for the 24 car, nowhere to go. Bam! It's race over before it even begins. We're through. We actually gained a place in all that somehow. No idea how. Let's get these tyres warm. Tyres are absolutely frozen right now. Which means stuff like that happens. Lock up. A bit too much brake, a bit too much steering. And the guys in front already leaving me for dead. Oh my god, come back, bros. Still sort of learning the lines for this thing. Uh, it's not a 330i. <laughs> Can confirm. Really used to spin the car here on the first lap, so I'm going to take it easy through. Do what I mean. Even with a TC. Oh my god. Gotta try and swap ends over the bump. Right now, head down. Oh my god, the wheel spin! Really struggling to contain this thing. The number eight behind us, staying with us nicely. Completely flat through here. It's gonna have a toe all the way down the hill. Good break there, gained a lot of time. So intense going here for the first time. Look at the speeds. Nearly 300 kph coming down to the foxhole. Tires are actually warm now, which is nice. Or nearly there anyway. So I lock up, I can absolutely lose it. Stop being a loser, Jimmy. Gained a lot on Peter in front. I think he's got a slowdown or something. Just like that, we're with second place. 
Don't block up too much, Jimmy. You will die. First place is checked out. Keanu is unreal fast around here. No chance, but that he makes a mistake. And he's just gapped us, left us for absolute dead. Just about hanging on with Pete here. This is where I want to be. I've got a bit of a toe here. Oh, a bit slow through there, though. That's going to cost me. We are still in slipstream range. Guy behind's a bit. He's just there. You won't be getting much, though. There you go. Slipstream's starting to help out a bit now. Should be flat for here first. I've not gone in with Aero Wash, though. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Easy. Right. How's this thing going to go through the carousel and race trim? Not too bad. Scramble to get out, though. Absolutely glued to the back of this guy through here. I feel like Carl's got a bit of pace. That was the wrong line through there, though. Oh, it's... I feel like I've already overheated the tyres for that section. You see the car moving around quite a bit. Now, where we are now is good. If we can stay here on the straight, we should be able to get him with a slipstream. The guy in front, oh my, he's six seconds up the road. What a legend. Oh, I struggled that corner in real life, too. Jimmy, get off there. Oh, I've just lost my draft. What an idiot. Be faster here now, Broadbent. No excuse. I've just lost my draft. <laughs> Holy sh**. Well, that worked for nothing. Need to work on that corner coming onto the uh, the straight, I think. I'm a bit faster than this guy on the Nautilifer, but on the GP circuit, look, I'm, I'm just floundering around. Is, is my auto fuel going to work, or am, I, or am I messed up here? Flat through here, nice. This is so intense, driving this around here. It's like intense on the GP circuit, and then you go onto the Nord Cypher, and oh my god, it's like another level. Try and be soft for the brake circuit. It's really easy to have the car switch ends on you. I'd rather just be easy through there and not have a moment, you know. Right, this was the gap last time. Let's go get him. this time so that's gonna affect our, uh, our speed up here quite a bit but I'm gonna need about 26 litres I think based on what we've done so far but maybe we should do that on the straight and not going through some fast corners who knows oh beef you oh, waiting for some beef oh. number six car makes a mistake gets on the curb then gets helped around by the car behind but watch this he's round and in the back Round, BMW goes round, Porsche goes round, hit each other. We're on board with Nick Bergman, who just manages to avoid all of that and picks up three places by just not going off the circuit. Good job, Nick. Better clean in the voice chat so far. Send it in, 330i style. That car is now definitely broken. It's max concentration through this part. Still go off like an idiot. Again, a bit. I'm trying to just break the, the toe from the guy behind. Guy in front's quicker through here this time. I think I'm just trying to be slow off there. The guy in front is really fast. I think I'm just slow off there, honestly. Oh, that was a bit fast into there, Jimmy. Got behind it the same thing, though, so we're lucky. Oh, sh**. Locked up there. How to lose time by Jimmy Broadbent. Continued. I've just lost, like, half a second there. Driving like, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Gained a bit of time back. But again, up here, you just don't want to be... Within a second of the guy near you, if he's, if he's chasing, he's just going to catch you on the uphill with a toe. We're going to have to push now in this last section to try and make sure he's not in the toe for the end of the lap. He'll just drive by us on the straight otherwise. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Jimmy, what's going on? Stop it. Good carousel, though. I needed that there. What was I doing there? What was I doing there? I just didn't break. I was looking at my fuel. Oh, Jimmy. 
27 litres should be safe, I think. I don't want to use too much fuel, though. I mean, it's 13.7 there on the average. Might be different with more... I don't know. I apologize, sorry, sorry, sorry so much. You can pass me, you can pass me. Oh, he totally was over. He totally was over speed limit there. I lost the a million record. percent. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Might be too much fuel, but I'm not really sure. I tend to go rather safe and sorry, but this might be his opportunity to jump me here. We're done. Get going. Well, now what? I'm not sure if I can catch this guy in front of me. I'll give it a go, but... Just had a bit too much pace over me, honestly. Sometimes you've got to just accept that you're a bit, a bit too slow. Oh my god. No. No way! Is it straight? I don't think it is. Oh my god. I think it's broken. I haven't got the button fixed for it though. My rear tires are definitely cooked. Typical broadbent man. I need to cool these rear tires down after that spin. No, come on! Oh my god. I'm lucky to be still in this race full stop. That's such a kick in the dick. Oh, Jimmy, come on. Oh, I think I broke it. Come on. There we go. Guess we've got to just limp it home now. What a shame. It's horrible to drive now. Still got another lap to get through. Guess now is can I hold fourth place? I'm so gutted, man. That was such a good run until then. Should have been a podium, you know. Trying to just like load the car up in understeer now to not even give it a chance to come around at the rear. Brakes still work. It may seem that my wing is still there. I would have had a massive crash there. That's how you test if you've still got a rear ring or not. Just full speed for a downforce corner. If you spin, you haven't got it anymore. Mm. Oh. This thing's a f***ing tank. My fault for trying to still get any speed out of it. I'm still sort of, I'm driving it at like, what I feel like is like 80%, but even that is too much for it at this point. We got lucky really that we had such a big gap to the rest of the cars behind us. I'm not quite sure what happened behind us, but it did mean luckily that we had this space and you know, we're actually going to end up finishing where we started, so not the worst race in the world, but could have gone better and we should hopefully gain a bit of eye rating as well even with this awful performance it's just one of those races where you really want to try and forget and you know what like when i record races like this i think do i want to actually upload this do i want to show people this but i think maybe it's important to do that sometimes show people that they don't always go to plan congrats to the leader keanu absolutely wrecked all of us throw to drago so i couldn't give him a race to the end but that after that contact with the wall that first contact that was just us pretty much done we couldn't have Bought him even if he wanted to, you know. So GG podium. Just a couple more corners. Just take it easy. Get it home. There you go. P4. A deserved P4? Probably not. So yeah, as you can see, rear end of the car. Pretty badly crunched there. That would have really upset our aero balance, which is why it's moving all over the place from the rear in the mid-speed corners. But uh, one to forget, really, but one to learn from. Definitely. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. And you can see they don't always go the way you want them to. But if you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I very much appreciate you spending some of your day with me here on my channel. Take care, have an awesome day. See you next time.